All right, guys, this is the 61 Apollo build where we removed all the CPP tubular suspension and went with the Rytec. Rytec's supposed to be number one quality. So I'm going to tell you what the issues we've been having. That way you can just know what I'm going through. So this is the third set of control arms for this Apollo that we've got from Rytec. Um, I've had to send them back. They tell me they're going to fix their, uh, their new procedures. Um, the first time it came, the cross shafts were installed wrong. So when I went to install them, um, I couldn't get the upper shock in and Rytec said, whoops, send them back, we'll fix it. They sent me another set. We go for the second install and if you come and look here, these they, they send you a bunch of loose hardware. So your control arm looks like this, pre-assembled and then they want you to install the side caps and the bolts and everything. Um, and they give you some loose hardware they want you to install. Uh, on a $4,500 kit, they want you to put some of their arms together. I argued with them and told them I wasn't really pleased because if you look when, when he brings the camera in, once you install the hardware that they're talking about, there's this humongous gap between the bushing and the washer. So I called Rytec, sent them pictures, and uh, they said, oh, we'll take the arms off and press our bushings in that we did even further and then reinstall the hardware. And I said, well, shouldn't that have been done like every other brand and manufacturer, even CPP? And uh, they said, yes, you know, we're gonna change our procedures and we're gonna start installing all the hardware from here on out. So they sent me a third set for, for, uh, for having all these issues to try out and install. And uh, I just wanna show you what I've found. So the first issue I have here is they assembled this now and they, they assembled all the hardware. And so I'm just here trying to move the control arm in, in a free travel motion. And if you see, the actual bushing washer is walking with the bushing. So eventually there's gonna be some wearing. Um, this is exactly how I got it from them. This is the other side. This was left all loose, and this is quote now pre-assembled their new procedure from Rytec. Really not happy with their quality of work. This is, this is how I got that arm, the other one's still rubbing. Okay, look at here, this is what I'm having issues with the bottom one, and this is what I was talking about. So they said that this is, um, I, I need to pull this all apart now and repress their bushing in. Um, so they're gonna send me a pre-assembled set now for all the trouble I'm having so that I could take these off and mail this third set back. So this is their pre-assembled now. Um, I don't know if I'm just being too old or if I'm not seeing the hardware, but yes, here is the hardware kit that was supposed to be their new procedure and we've done three emails about and I've talked with their engineers because there's no reason for the customer to have to install all this when there's no reason for this to come off to install it in the car. This should be all set, taken care of by Rytec when it comes to you. So the new procedure of pre-assembled hardware is right here. Uh, they can take that shit and, uh, and take it back to them again for the third time. I would rather take this crap off and send it back to them. Good thing it's not summertime because I would probably take the car and ship it and throw it through their window. So I'm gonna call them again tomorrow, send them another video and have them explain to me how they're gonna change another procedure and send me a, a fourth set of arms when uh, I, I'm just gonna ask them for my money back and try and go buy me a, a real set of arms um, so that I could get this Impala on the road and uh, I don't lose my temper. One more thing I've been talking to Rytec about is they want you to install, there's no instructions on here on which bolt hole they want you to put this in, but it actually goes in this half inch hole because we call them. And uh, so the half inch hole to push the coil over all the way back, you actually have to cut your frame. Um, and if you look here now, the angle of this, of, of their upper bushing, they did a nice ball bushing uh, here. It's rounded and it's got a billet collar here. Um, so, but if you were to put this, this shock or this coil over parallel, it would actually want to land in the third hole, which is a five eighths hole. And, and this, and the shock would all, and the bushing would all line up and, and have a nice even wear. So I called them and said, Hey, you know, to get this in the half inch bushing or the half inch hole in this lower control arm that you want, I'm going to have to cut my frame. And now the upper bushing is going to hit, hit the, hit the frame as well. So this is touching metal to metal, going to make noise. Um, I gotta cut my frame pocket to get the coil over over there to get it in the half inch hole you want. Are you sure that's where the engineers want it to go? And they said, yes, that's where they want it to go. So 
Um, I sent them pictures of this. They're like, oh, well, that's not good. Metal on metal. I said, I know that's why I'm telling you all this and sending you all the pictures. Oh, we've never had this issue before. And I said, well, I mean, the CPP stuff that was on here fit great. Um, I just eventually knew I was going to sell the car. So I wanted a, a, you know, a little bit better name brand, Ride Tech, uh, thought. So, uh, it's been nothing but a headache. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do to fix this. Uh, I'm going to send them another video tomorrow with, with their, uh, their good quality control arms that they've built here and, uh, and see if they can try and tell me again how their engineer thinks this is okay to let this, this ride metal to metal and still have to cut my frame pocket out so that the actual top of this coilover doesn't sit here and, and wear into my frame and, and sit here and make noise the whole time I'm driving it as well because that would drive me crazy. So uh, I'll talk to them again tomorrow, send them 100 more pictures and let them scratch their head again and see what they can send me tomorrow. Maybe it'll be a unicorn and I can make a lot of money.